Hi guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Today I have a really easy and delicious crock pot recipe to share with you. When I started this channel, I used to share dinner recipes all the time on a series called What's For Dinner Wednesday. That was before I started doing lunches. But recently I've had a lot of requests to do dinner videos again. Now if you'd like to check out my old dinner videos, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below, but all of my recipes are super easy and quick and kid approved. Just like the recipe I'm gonna share with you today, which is chicken pot pie chowder. Now even though we're making this in the crock pot, this is gonna cook really quickly. It's not one of those recipes that needs to cook all day long. I'm going to start by adding half a cup of white grape juice. Next, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of better than bouillon chicken base, followed by two cups of water. And I'm going to whisk to combine. Next, I'm gonna throw in a pound and a half of boneless, skinless chicken breast, which I've cut into one inch pieces. To that, I'm gonna add three cloves of crushed garlic, one medium onion diced, and a few sprigs of fresh thyme. If you don't have fresh, you could also use dried. To season this up, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I'm gonna stir this up a bit and then add my potatoes. I'm using about one pound of baby red potatoes. These are really small, so I'm just gonna throw them in, but if you're using larger potatoes, you definitely wanna chop them up. Next, I'm gonna get my lid on. Now you could cook this on low for about five to six hours, or you could cook it on high for about three to four hours. In a separate bowl, I'm going to add half a cup of half and half. You could also use regular milk if you'd like, but it won't be as creamy. To that, I'm going to add some cornstarch. I'm adding about four tablespoons because I like my chowder on the thicker side. And then I'm just going to whisk to combine. Next, I'm going to remove the thyme stems and discard that. And I'm also going to check and make sure that the potatoes are nice and soft. And they are, so we're ready for the next step. To thicken this up and make it nice and creamy, I'm going to add the half and half cornstarch mixture, followed by four ounces of cream cheese. This is room temperature cream cheese, and I've cut it into pieces so that it can melt faster. And then it wouldn't be a chicken pot pie without some veggies. I'm actually using some frozen but thawed veggies. This is a mixture of peas, carrots, corn, and green beans. And I'm using about two cups. Now I'm gonna give this a big stir. Then I'm going to put the lid back on for another 30 to 45 minutes or until all of the cream cheese has melted into the soup and the veggies are warmed through. Now one of my favorite parts of a chicken pot pie is the crust. So for today's recipe, I'm actually gonna make some bread on the side, but not just any bread. I'm gonna take some puff pastry sheets, cut them out, brush them with a little bit of egg wash, and then pop them into the oven. These cook really fast, and it's almost like a pie crust, but a lot easier. Now after about 45 minutes, my chowder is nice and creamy, and it's just the thickness that I like. If you'd like yours to be a little bit thicker, you can always add more cornstarch. This is also the time that I usually like to taste it to see if I need any more salt or pepper. And I like extra pepper on mine. This chowder is enough to feed my family and have leftovers. I like to serve it up with a little bit of crumbled bacon on top and a few extra pieces of parsley just to make it look pretty. And last but not least, I'm going to add in my puff pastry. This is so yummy to dip in the chowder and it tastes just like a pie crust. Okay guys, if you'd like to make this recipe, I'll go ahead and put a link to it in the description box below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to see more dinner recipes just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.